Hey, what's up, y'all? It's been a while since I made a video, but here's this one on this guy I recently picked up in the train. I thought I knock out this quick video as I wait for the um, UFC uh, 20 Ferguson Nate Diaz fight. I think Nate Diaz has that one. But anyways, there's a whole squad in the back. Napa, Ken, Ryu, Scott Atkins. Uh, Predator. But anyways, here's this Kentaro from uh, Storm Collectibles. I got this guy in a local trade recently. And since he's already been opened, I thought I'd knock out this quick video um, to help me with that. I wanted to bring out these other Storm Collectibles, um, Zangief, Colonel Bison, and I believe this is an MK3 um, Scorpion. And just for size reference purposes, um, I also wanted to bring out this guy that's a little bit bigger than Zangief. It's Doomsday. Pretty sick looking doomsday. Also from um, Storm Collectibles. And like I said, it was the purpose of doing a size comparison and just taking a look at it overall. How the figure looks and what the size of them is and all that, you know, compared to what we've seen in the video games or whatnot. And this uh, Kentaro, I believe he first made an appearance on uh, MK2, if I'm not mistaken. And we get the little rundown about how he's from the Shao Kahn rays and others like him are Goro, Shiba. But yeah, let's uh, open them up and take a look. Alright, and first impressions as I open him up are that he's a pretty cool looking guy. Big, big dude. I don't think he's as cool as the Goro, honestly. You know, and maybe that's just me being biased or whatever, but, I mean, either way, color on him is cool, the size, everything. Um, he comes with a couple extra heads for him, a couple extra hands, but I thought this was super cool. Comes with some uh, Sub-Zero extra hands, arms. Some blood effects right there. I believe that's an unmasked sub zero head. So he does come with a few extra things. Here's his own uh, hands. And, and I just dropped that, but I'll show you guys and have you guys get a closer look. Comes with a couple extra heads. And just. Some grabbing hands. Different types of hands. So, all in all, it seems like he has a little bit of a loose waist here, which I knew about this um, when I picked him up in the trade. The guy like got him from local guy kind of gave me a heads up on that. I guess he ordered his pre ordered from BBTS and just kind of QC ish right there. I didn't really mind since I feel like you know I, I got a good trade for him. And since I wanted to get something that was already open, sometimes you know when I get these figures in, I just have a hard time just opening them I just lack of space you know um if I had more space I'd open up all of them and display them so when I tend to get figures that are already open you know I I make these videos um a lot of the figures that I get I I don't want to open them so I just kind of leave them in the box you know for a while until I get more space or until I decide to sell them or trade them but yeah for size comparison this is what I'll do I'll push this guy a little bit back this guy, as he stands, I want to say he's about 
10 inches. Uh, he's about 9 inches, as you can see there. And for a size comparison, another uh, Storm Collectibles figure here that I have. Another bad guy, I guess. As you can see, side by side, Doomsday. They're pretty comparable. I'd probably say Doomsday. It's hard to see right there, but Doomsday is a, a little bit bigger than than Kentaro. This Kentaro, um, I believe, uh, since he's an earlier, I mean, uh, the Doomsday, since he's an earlier release, you would think that he'd have some maybe QC issues as well. I've never had huge QC issues with, um, with Storm Collectibles. So, you know, I usually just open them up and they're pretty much, you know, ready to go. I don't have to deal with sending them back or, you know, trading them or whatever. Um, Zangief. There's that Zangief. And all I have out here is like bad guys or we consider villains. Uh, he's also pretty big figure he's seven and a half inches as you can see there but what I really like about this storm line is that they're consistent with their scaling so Zangief is pretty big right there right and you get Colonel Bison which is also a I would say that the maybe the Shao Kahn of uh, Street Fighter but you would think he'd be you know pretty big being a villain and all and size by size comparison, he is significantly shorter than Zangief. Stands about mm, six and a half inches. But going even further down the line. And like I said, you know, this is the consistency that I really like on this line. You can have this Colonel Bison right here. Size by size comparison with this um, with this ninja scorpion MK3 and as we can see the regular figures sorry I have that upside down you know um, they really stick to that 112 scale which is you know about six inches. He's a little crouched right there, but I'd say this Scorpion is six inches. So just going down the line of billions or whatever, you see a little bit bigger for Bison, a little bit bigger for Zangief, a lot bigger for Doomsday, and of course that Kintaro. All in all, it is... Um, Kintaro doesn't come with much, but I mean the details on it are pretty cool. What you would expect from a forearmed giant like this guy. And just being from the Shokan race, I mean Goro, Shiba, I can see it, you know. And I mean the Goro, I have a new one. I don't want to open it. I had an extra one. Why well, the first one I ever had, I sold it. Then I picked up a, a second one, unopened. I don't. I don't really want to open it. But I am looking forward to some of these bigger figures. And Storm releases, you know, a few more. Hopefully, you know, Shiva or. And then we can truly see how the size comparison keeps up or whatnot. I mean, but all in all, it's a great figure. Um, I believe you can still get them at retail. I wouldn't, you know, uh, jump on anything more than retail, honestly. Um, if you could pick them up for a trade, you know, that'd be even better. Um, some people are willing to trade up, trade down, however you want to see it. Um, I was able to get this guy off a of trade for a 1-6 scale um, 
Netflix Punisher, um, just a kit bash custom that I had. So I uh, you know I was definitely happy with the trade. Um, I think he sits around like in the one twenties new retail. But like I said, maybe you could pick him up for a trade a lot cheaper than that, or you know maybe you know people that don't really care for the box just pick him up. You know loose. Maybe just with the extras. I don't really think you need the Sub Zero stuff unless you have that Sub Zero. I believe it's the Unmasked Sub Zero, but I, mean, I could be wrong, so you can feel free to uh, correct me if I am wrong. But yeah, um, I really like this figure. Great addition to to my collection. So pretty good uh, pickup. You have a chance. Cop them for sure. See you guys on the next one. Thank you for tuning in.